Hey, what's up guys? It's Davis, and today we're back with another, uh, same shit that I've been doing. Surprising. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're back with PD Piranha, and we're gonna be checking out, you know, kind of what I consider to be one of the, uh, first Mario Golf tournaments, like I said. The first tur- or course that kind of stands this game out from other games in the genre. Um... But yeah, so right now uh, we got a wind blowing towards these bunkers, so I'm going to want to shoot just to be safe. Um, I might actually be better landing in the fairway here because those pillars in the back are really going to mess with you on your approach to the green. And I can't believe an actual nice shot <laughs> right off the bat, but I'll take it. Alright, so yeah, still though, 195 yards away, just, you know... And that was a um, nearly perfect drive as well, so it's pretty insane. Um, I don't think I really want to add any special uh, roll or anything to this, by which I mean shooting a high or low shot. I think I just want to adjust for the wind best I can. Okay, I decided to go with a backspin there at the last second just because, I don't know, it feels like you can always overshoot these drivers. Or these woods. It's just really easy to anyway. So this is kind of an awkward slope. We have like a decent slope right ahead of us. And then it looks like flat. And then a tiny slope at the end. So I'm going to go with like this shot. And we're also going uphill a tiny bit. So we'll try that. Yeah, a little bit of overcorrection. I think it was that overcorrection I made right at the very end there, which is a shame, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Womp King up on top again. Just like he's on top of Womp's Fortress. Okay, um, with this wind I could probably theoretically make it onto the fairway there, but that just seems way too risky. And I should not have lost a power shot there, but I set up my shot wrong, it looks like. Alright, but again, this shouldn't be a real problem to uh, get to the green in two more strokes, which should guarantee a birdie. So I'm going to shoot right here. The wind's pretty strong, so... Okay, I didn't lose a power shot, but that miss hit might hurt. That plus the wind might actually push me into a bunker. Yeah, and from here, man, this is pretty rough, because, okay, um, didn't it start me with a 6-iron? Yeah, okay, so shooting it that way hurts my ability, that's pretty weird. So in that case, I'm going to try and shoot the uh, lowest shot I can, account for the win, and just try to topspin it into the green. Okay, that actually worked. Wow. The question is whether or not I needed the super, but this is actually going to roll back a little bit. That was something. Alright, so again, I really don't want to overcompensate for this. We're putting downhill, so we don't really need extra distance. Alright, that was quite a save. I'm not sure how much better or worse that would have ended up with a regular top spin, but um, on that third shot there, but I'll definitely take that. So this hole is pretty tricky because you have this giant mountain in the way, obviously, so I'll take that. I didn't waste a power shot. That's probably not the miss hit that I wanted, just because it's going to put me closer to that mountain, and I have to shoot around that, so probably should have actually super top spin there. Um, but it looks like we still have a decent sure third shot, or second shot to the green. So let me try and pan the camera out a little bit. Uh, we got a slope going downwards to the right, so I'm, and wind, so I want to hit the ball about right here, which means I want to adjust for the wind to about here. Plus I'm shooting a high shot, so it's going to get affected more. I was considering adding a backspin there, but since I overhit, there was really no point. Uh, I didn't land exactly where I wanted to, probably because of the miss and inaccuracy. And yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. These putts are just 
Oh man, this is really rough. We're kind of shooting uphill, um, so I'm gonna want a little bit more power. I feel like I'm kind of overcompensating here, but... Uh, I underhit that, it's gonna drift to the right, yeah. If I had gotten the power that I wanted, I probably would have been able to get there. I mean, technically, power-wise, I did get there, but um, the harder your shot is, the less it's going to be affected by accurate or by slope. So, all right, this is a terrible <laughs> position for the flag. So we have this he this tailwind that's going to lower my loft. Um, probably going to cancel out the. Uh, because it's blowing against, it's blowing with the ball, so that should increase the distance, but because, especially because I'm shooting uphill, essentially, um, it's going to probably cancel that out. So really, I'm just going to try and account for the uh, horizontal wind. Okay, I got a plus one that might help, that might really hurt, it just kind of depends. It looks like it hurt more. And I should have went with a super backspin, but this isn't terrible. I'm actually just going to try and um, chip this, because... That putt looks pretty nasty. Gonna try and set up our camera with a C stick. Gonna bring this back a little bit. This is pretty tricky as well because we've got the slope going against us and the wind a tiny bit, which shouldn't matter too much, but. Okay, perfect shot. We'll see if I lined that up, and I did. All right, cool. I mean, those 10 yard chips are something that you should be nailing pretty often if you're, you know, trying to complete a challenge like this regardless, but, um, even so, can I shoot between these cacti? Because the hole's over to the left, so I want to get as far left as possible, so I actually think I'm just going to shoot, I'm not even going to risk a power shot here. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't, I guess, although that might make it to where, uh, Okay, so I got on the left of the cactus, which is good, but I'm not on a very good lie here. As you can see, that's why my shot looks pretty funky. So, because this uh, green slopes down so much, um, <laughs> looks like I looks like I can get better. Because if I shoot it this way, it's gonna roll more toward the right when I hit my mark, which is what I want it to do. So we have a super strong win. I'm hitting a high shot. Um, it's not really that high though, but I'm hitting it low on the ball to make it as high as possible. But that 60 mile an hour wind is going to be tough, so I want to hit it like near here and then just try and super top spin it onto the green like I did on that other hole. So we're going to put the shot about there, probably. Yeah, that should be that should be all right. <laughs> At least I'm hitting my marks when I need to be. Um, so it looks like I didn't compensate for the wind quite enough because I didn't land on the slope where I wanted to. And again, this is just one hell of a putt yet again. I'm probably going to want to hit it at least a little short because we're going pretty far downhill. But there's a slight uphill at the very end, so... Uh, hmm. This looks like a pretty tricky slope to deal with. Okay, I got the power where I wanted it. Um, looks like I didn't compensate near enough for that slope, and I hit it short a little bit. Which, again, I guess is understandable because at the end there was a tiny upslope, and when your ball is slowing down, you know, where you want it to near the end of the hole, that can cause problems. Okay, so, um, this is kind of, it looks like another one of those holes where the green, um, the area to get onto the green, this little patch of fairway here in the fringe is kind of sloping downward, like toward me. So trying to roll it up probably isn't the best idea. Um, I'll just try and account horizontally for the wind and add like a backspin onto it and see how that works. Okay, that's probably not the best miss hit, but we'll see. Uh, looks like I lost a decent amount of power from that accuracy miss hit, but hey, like I said, man, if you can land on those straight, um, green spots, then you're pretty much good. Especially if it's, you know, within 15 like that, it's really hard to miss hit in accuracy. 
All right, so we're gonna aim out here for this big patch of fairway. I think that's probably the best idea. If you have the power, going for that spot back there is better, but you know we obviously don't, so. Yep, just wanna hit those accuracy marks. It's the most important part. Even when these, you know, characters that have better control. Because, like, I've noticed playing through this that PD Piranha's control, even unstart, is not great. Uh, this is kind of a risky shot to make. It might be better to go for here, because here I'm risking a lot, especially with the wind going against me like that. So, I think it's probably better to just shoot a three wood shot about right there. Just check the spot one more time. Yeah. Uh, I put a backspin on it just in case any kind of uh, crazy stuff happens, but, you know, it looks like we landed smack dab in the middle, so that's good. Um, hmm. Yeah, you really gotta compensate for the slope and... not compensate, um, you really gotta analyze the slope and see where, or like, how you want your ball to roll. Do you want it to roll not a lot or a lot based on, you know, where the slope is going down according to the hole? That probably didn't make a lot of sense what I just said, but that's fine. Um, okay, so I think that's going to be alright because the wind's going to push it a little bit back and I want to hit probably like right here because of my 4 wood. Or 4 iron that I'm using. I do that a lot. I've noticed uh, when I miss it act or power like that, what ends up happening is um, I kind of freak out and I'm like, oh man, I start doing calculations in my head. Uh, and I just can't focus and I miss it the accuracy, so. But hey, you know, um, the shot worked out a lot, so. I mean, for how many, for how much miss hit was on that shot right there, the fact that it got on a, you know, flat part of the slope, or, you know, unsloped part of the green was pretty good. Okay, uh, that was a kind of bad shot too, but it looks like it put us in a good position. So we have a 17 mile an hour tailwind, and since we're kind of shooting, uh, I guess arguably flat, but a little bit downhill, I feel like this is gonna add a lot of distance to the shot. I'm really not sure though. We're just gonna have to see for ourselves. I guess not. I mean, I don't think a single accuracy mark miss it would uh, affect the shot that much. Okay, this is not going to be an easy chip. Uh, we have the wind blowing 70 miles an hour against that way, the slope going this way. So ideally, I'd want to hit it like here. Um, probably like here because we're hitting uphill, but because of the wind, I'm going to hit it about here. Here. Okay, accuracy miss hit. It looks like that cost me. That sucks. But, you know, what are you gonna do? That chip was not one that I expected to make. Uh, the cutoff for this hole, if you're wondering, is a decent minus five. Not unreasonable by any means. I'm trying to hit the ball about here. Got a 13 mile an hour window to account for. Yeah, that was a really bad miss hit, and that's gonna um, poop on any birdie chances I wanted for this hole. Or birdie chance that I had for this hole, so we're just gonna have to settle. <laughs> I'm just playing like trash all of a sudden. But we got to the fairway, so it's not the worst thing. As long as you can set up, again, just trying to save par most of the time, and then just get those birdies when you can take them is kind of the way to go. I put a backspin on it because I did get a plus one and the wind is going to blow it pretty far. It looks like that was the perfectly right decision. So it's a shame we had such a bad driver shot. But um, we save face on it. So we're on track for a minus eight, but generally the latter half of the course is pretty much always harder than the first half. So we're going to put our shot about here. Um, I'm only doing that because 
Okay, I got a plus one and an accuracy miss hit. But there's actually a trick you can do to save power shots in this game. Um, for instance, if you want to hit a full length power shot, what you should really do is set your power meter back one, because how this game determines whether or not you keep your power shots is you can be one off your mark on power and accuracy. So by having full power, you only can um, either get full power or one below full power to keep your power shot. However, if you put it one back, then you can get full power, uh, your actual mark that you set, or one behind it. So it gives you actually one extra buffer to do that with. Um, for some reason, it looks like the three woods power is hitting just about as far, so we're going to go ahead and use that. Not a lot of wind to account for, but the slope looks pretty nasty, so I'm going to hit the ball about right here and probably just backspin or super backspin. I was probably going to super backspin if I had gotten a plus anything. Plus one, I guess, was the only thing that I could have gotten, but really it was that accuracy miss hit that killed me there. Okay, so we're still fighting the slope a little bit, it looks like. It's pretty hard to tell, but um, it looks like it's... Ugh, this is... Man, this is really hard to tell. But yeah, it looks like the slope to the left is um, the more defining one here. The wind isn't really going to affect this for anything, so I'm just going to... With a top spin... Man, that really sucks. I guess the wind really did affect it in the end. Yeah, because if there was zero wind there, then that would have went in. Hmm, it's a shame. But again, that's why this game is so interesting. Alright, so obviously the game set you up here. Um, I guess this isn't the hole I was thinking of. There's a lot of alternate paths on this course. that you can abuse to find safe states. It looks like I'm still struggling with that uh, setting I have to use to record OBS with. Like I said, it increases input delay. This is not a good shot that I have here. Well, eh, it's actually not bad, really. Um, so we have a strong wind going backwards. It's gonna increase our loft, but I think it's still gonna take a big hit in accuracy. The main thing I wanna check here is where the slope, is how the slope of the green is. So we're going down that way, which means that even when it pushes it back, I still want it to land somewhere around here. Um, so I think this is probably the best I can do. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much ex like completely late miss hitting, and that horizontal wind was pretty strong. Probably should have expected that, but I don't know. I thought I compensated quite a bit for it. So yeah, this 19 mile an hour wind plus the slope is going to blow this thing kind of decently far. Um, so we'll just try like that. Okay. That is the second chip in a row that has been just right on the side of that. So uh, yeah, that sucks. We have yet to birdie or anything on these back nine so far, but we've kept par, so we're not losing any ground, which is, again, the important part right now. Because at some point you're going to have to, you know, at some point on these courses with the uh, more strict requirements for score, you're going to have to bite the bullet and chance it a couple times to go for, um, to go for those birdies that you need, but... You know, since we're already, we're minus one away, so really we just want to keep on track here and try and birdie out a hole like this. We've got a uh, moderate wind blowing to the left, but also the slope blowing or to the right, and then a slope going to the right, so. That miss hit in power and accuracy is going to cost me, but at least it was a good miss hit in accuracy. So that's why I added that super top spin, and it actually somehow overcompensated for itself. Um, honestly, here I'd rather just try go for this chip again. It's just ugh, trying to get this camera lined up is so finicky. Um, I don't think I necessarily want. I'm gonna compensate a tiny, the tiniest bit for the wind. This is such a short shot that like it shouldn't really affected at all but we'll see cool all right like i said cleaned up with a birdie when we needed to 
Now all you have to do is par out from here. We've got six holes to keep up though, so that's not exactly an easy challenge. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay. So when I have the choice of an iron here or a wood, like I'm gonna pick the iron every time, even if I am risking a power shot. Um, the slope is kind of bouncing back away from the hole. This hole is on a really bad location, so I'm just gonna, I wanna hit it about here, so I'm gonna compensate for the wind about here. I underhit power, which I guess is to be expected when I try to sh uh, set up a full power shot like that, so I didn't add the backspin that I was going to, which it looks like I should have, but this still should be a pretty decent shot. I'm actually gonna putt from the fringe here, which again, isn't something that I normally like to do, but this putt is not too bad. A little bit of slope here. Give it a decent amount of power. Nice. <laughs> Didn't even show it, you could just hear the flag. Or the pole. Or the pin. I keep forgetting what they call that. Alright, uh, this is a hole where, as you can see, it says it's 330 yards away on a par 5, which does not sound right. And that's because it's actually behind this mountain, so if you have a character that can kind of like shoot super high and super far like that, you can kind of cheese this hole out a little bit. Uh, but we're just going to lower our shot and probably just try and get to this little patch of fairway while avoiding this bunker. Okay. Yep, I need to start being really careful with my power shots. I'm running a little bit low on them. Uh, wind did not affect that, like, nearly as much as I thought. So, if you are able to get to, um, this little island of fairway right here, you can actually shoot across this, across this river in the middle that, you know, my cursor is pointing to, and that's where you can see the pin is. Since we can't do that, we're going to go for a shot over here onto this fairway. Again, probably not a good idea to risk my power shots like that. Hopefully I avoid this bunker, and ugh, I do. I did not even consider hitting that bunker because it's so far away, it feels like. Um, man, I would risk that, but just, again, the fact that I only have two power shots left, I just need to be careful. So this is going to affect this shot a lot. It's almost a purely horizontal wind, 17 miles an hour, and I'm shooting 150 yards. I got a plus one, so I backspin there. Hopefully this turns out okay. I might have overcompensated a bit for the wind, but overall, you know. So again, we still have to compensate for that wind a tiny bit, so I'm gonna put it about there. I overshot, so I tried to miss it earlier to, um, that was what I was talking about in the first episode where you can actually do a little bit of uh, manual distance control after you've set your power. Uh, it's only It only works in pretty much the negative direction, but if I had mishit my sweet spot far enough, then I would have been able to uh, reduce the distance on that shot that I made. So here was the hole that I was actually thinking of a couple holes back where you can shoot to this area and then you can kind of get a clean shot to the... Uh, green from here. Um, I'm only going for this because Because I'm using PD Piranha, I think or you know, maybe Bowser I would go for it too, but any character with like a short drive like I would not probably try this But this one looks fine So kind of compensate for the wind A little bit. It's pretty strong in this direction. I want to try to land like here probably so Probably like there. I think that's enough horizontal compensation unless I butcher the power. So I put a super on that. Hopefully I'll, you know, what are you going to do? I think I've made up for that probably the best that I could given that crappy miss hit. So I have a little bit of wind compensation to account for and a lot of slope. So the wind is probably going to blow it somewhere to like right here, and then the slope should kind of carry it in from there. I'm going to add some spin to it just in case. Man, that is the third chip and I've missed in 
by like nothing. But again, just keep par. We're ahead of where we need to be. We gave ourselves a little bit of buffer with three holes to go. So, and the last hole is a par five with a fair amount of leniency. Fair amount of leniency. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna play it safe here. Okay, well, uh, that would have been playing it safe if I had even gotten close to hitting my marks, but again, I'm just hitting everything so late. Uh, game's putting me, setting me up there. I don't really like that. I'm actually just gonna go for this kind of shot. Because I could almost save birdie here if I do, like, a crazy clutch shot here with a lot of spin, but... I didn't get any plus, uh, distance on the lie detector that would have helped me out, so that's kind of a bummer, but yeah, 19 yards away, can't really complain. Uh, I don't think this is a reasonable chip to make. I have a lot of wind going that way and a lot of slope counteracting it, so like, the wind will probably blow it around, like, here. I'm not sure how much the wind is going to affect the distance of it, because it is going against me, but it's still a very short shot. And I got a minus three, which shouldn't matter a lot, but yeah. Like I said, that was pretty difficult putt or, or chip to make. The problem now is that I have a difficult par putt to make, which is not good. But we got the good camera. Okay. Again, it's just really good to save par. Especially when you're up like this, you just gotta keep up that con consistency. Most important thing. So here we're hitting off of a cliff, which already sucks, but um, I actually kinda wanna use a power shot here because I wanna shoot the ball as high as possible here. Um, because I'm shooting so far down, the wind is gonna take a major toll on the ball. So I'm going to set up a forward shot like right here and try and hit the slope on the way down and just backspin it. Okay, wow, I actually hit that perfect mark. We'll see if my calculations were right. That's the other important part. It looks like I might have overhit it. Yeah. But hey, we gave ourselves a really good putt here for a star tournament green. We've given ourselves a two-stroke buffer going into the last hole, which means I can almost butcher this thing and still make it work. And we still have a power shot left, so that's good. Give ourselves a little bit of extra distance off the drive. I'm trying to land, like, right around here. But we have a strong wind, so... The plus one kind of make up for my mishit and accuracy. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have super topspin just to make sure to avoid that bunker, but it all worked out. So we just want to keep playing safe here. We're very close to finishing this up. That mishit and accuracy is pretty bad. Uh, it'll decrease my distance and... Okay, so a guy stayed out of the OB, which I'm pretty sure this is either... I think this is the OB, yeah, this is the waste area, but either way it's good to avoid either one. We have a pretty easy shot here. I'm gonna put it up to a six iron just to make sure, or to give myself an easier time hitting the power mark. And I'm gonna just... I was probably gonna add a backspin, but I missed my power anyway. Looks like I still should have added that backspin, but we have like, <laughs> five putts to make this in, or four, so we should be pretty good here. No need to overhit, we're going downhill, and it looks like I overhit a little too much. I wanted the slope to catch that a little better. But there we go, uh, end this up in minus seven. Two better than I needed to. That was very difficult, honestly. That was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Womp King is just destroying everybody else that's not me, and that <laughs> Piranha Plant is another character, I guess. So yeah, from here on out, this is just gonna get harder and harder. Um, this course and the next one are just interesting because they still have pretty tight cutoffs. 
especially this one at minus five. The next one at minus three isn't that tight, but um, yeah, you still gotta you still gotta find your birdies on those courses. Whereas the later ones, the cutoff is like par or one less, so you pretty much just gotta find one birdie somewhere and then just try and par out from there. So that's it. Uh, next time we'll be taking on Blooper Bay. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later.